The following presentation is brought to you by Volvo Cars of North America, Volvo for Life, by the National Safety Council, the National Association of Police Organizations, and the National Sheriff's Association. This is Drive for Life, the National Safe Driving Test. Here now your host, Chris Myers. Welcome to Drive for Life 2005. This safe driving initiative, now in its third year, thanks to the generous support of Volvo Cars of North America, continues to offer valuable life-saving tips to make us all better drivers. Hi, I'm Chris Myers. Traffic continues to grow, and the latest Drive for Life opinion poll indicates it's more aggravating than ever before. All the more reason to be aware of hazards and distractions and how to effectively deal with them. It's a national way of life. More and more cars with more and more drivers spending more and more time behind the wheel. We're the world's number one motorized society and the numbers of cars and trucks on the nation's highways continue to grow by the thousands every year. That spells risk and sure enough, Ask anyone behind the wheel and you're likely to hear them say driving today is more dangerous and aggravating than it was just two years ago. The Drive for Life survey asked them why. And more than 60% pointed their finger at other drivers' behavior. More than traffic delays, road conditions, and their own personal stress. The Drive for Life Safe Driving Initiative, which includes the National Safe Driving Test, is designed to be challenging, fun, and most importantly, informative. Most of us haven't been retested since we got our license as a teenager, and a lot has changed. So before we get started, here's a sample question for you. True or false? You should set your tire pressure to the pressure listed on the side of your tire. The correct answer is false. You should fill your tires to the pressure recommended by your car manufacturer, typically found on the inside of the driver's door frame or door post, or in the owner's manual. The recommended pounds per square inch, or PSI, can also be found on the inside of the glove box door or trunk lid. We'll return with a national safe driving test and quite possibly some questions you've never even thought about. Get ready. We'll be back in just a moment. Just ahead, how Abe Lincoln can help you become a little safer out there on the highway. This is Drive for Life, the national safe driving test. Brought to you by Volvo Cars of North America and the National Safety Council. Yeah. Take it up now. Take it up now. You think about the things people do to pursue their passion. Take it up now. Take it up now. And how far they can go when they're confident in their equipment. You think about that, then you build cars with legendary Volvo safety to help fuel the human spirit. It was a thrilling ride. The Volvo S40 Sport Sedan and V50 Activity Sports Wagon. Question three. You're driving through a construction zone with a posted speed limit. The speed limit applies only when A, workers are present. B, signs are permanently displayed. C, police are patrolling the scene. D, at all times. The answer is D, at all times. Even though construction workers and police might not be present, the changes confronting you in the construction zone are enough to warrant slowing down to the posted limit. Question four. To drive safely on snow and ice, you should do all of the following except A, decrease your speed and leave plenty of space to stop. B, brake gently to avoid skidding. C. Pass the snowplow so you can get a better view of the road. D. Use low gears to keep traction, especially on hills. The answer is C. In fact, one of the safest places on a snowy and icy road is behind a snowplow, provided you follow at a safe distance. Passing creates one of the most dangerous situations presented by wintry weather. After having the opportunity to drive on the Volvo ice test tracks in Finland, I've come to realize that it's really important to get a feel for how your car handles in the snow. If given the opportunity, take your car to an empty parking lot and 
test it out, feel how it reacts in icy conditions. Question five. According to several opinion polls, what's the most frequent distraction drivers admit to while on the road? A, cell phone calls. B, eating. C, reading. D, romance. The answer is B. Recent polls indicate that more than 50% of all drivers admit to eating while driving. Cell phone use is second. Reading comes in at a disturbing 17%, and romantic distractions account for up to 10% of all detours from safe driving. And the distractions continue to increase. Rapidly evolving technology now allows a driver to do everything on the road from getting detailed directions through global positioning satellites and on-screen roadmaps to finding restaurant reviews and booking reservations, not to mention the explosion in DVD players and multitasking cell phones. The pace at which driving technology is developing is both exciting and mind-boggling. It all comes back to the absolute need for personal responsibility and total awareness behind the wheel. Keep your pencils ready. We'll be back in a moment with the second half of the National Safe Driving Test. If you're not certain how well your tires are holding up, use a penny to test the depth of the tire tread. If Abe Lincoln's head can be fully seen, your tires are wearing dangerously thin and need to be replaced. This is Drive for Life, the National Safe Driving Test. You're taking the National Safe Driving Test, and when you're finished, you should head over to driveforlife.com. There you'll find a wealth of additional information, and you can enter online to win a 2005 Volvo S40. Time to do something good for yourself. So finish taking the test, then go online at driveforlife.com. Enter for a chance to win a 2005 Volvo S40. It's driveforlife.com, and it's all there for you. Remember, when you're on the road, driving should be your only job, your only focus. Don't let anything distract you from it. If each of us pays close attention to what we're doing on the highway, we improve the safety level for all of us. Personal responsibility and education are the keys, which is why the National Safe Driving Test is distributed to driver education programs throughout the entire United States. There's a lot more information and helpful hints on our website, driveforlife.com. I'm Chris Myers. For Kristen Barella and all of us at Drive for Life, thanks for watching. Until next time, be safe and make sure every drive you take is a drive for life.